Hello there, welcome to another update and uh, I was just looking at the playlist and I just realized it's been ah uh, wow many months since the last video um, yeah it's it's been quite a while because every time I thought hmm, I should do an update I should not leave people hanging about what happened with this project uh, for those that were following it with some interest but time just went on going and I just thought well maybe it's I don't even know what to say anymore um, because I've been stopped for so long that it's just I don't know what to say so I thought I'll do another video when I have something really interesting to say which is today so the bad news is that Armin is dead the good news is that it's not actually dead um, so to cut the long story short um, a lot of things were happening at the time of my last video. Um, I was not happy with the limitations that I was encountering with the GPT, with the fine-tuned models. Uh, there were a couple of challenges there, if you remember the last couple of videos. And the fine-tuned and the cost and um, yeah, things were not just flowing as I thought they would be. And I kind of demotivated me a little bit to continue with the projects and at the same time, GPT-4 got released. Then shortly after that, we got GPT, uh, chat GPT plugins got released. And there was so much stuff going on that I thought, I, I have to wait. I have, I have to pause a little bit and see how things will flow, how I will adapt, because I don't want to waste my precious free time doing things that will go you know, to waste. So I thought, let me just wait and see until things stabilize a little bit. So a lot of things happen in OpenAI. The plugins got released. Uh, and then OpenAI released the functions in the ChatGPT models, which was a big, big, big thing. Um, that saved so much work from what I was doing and what uh, st projects like Langchain was doing. Now we have all that native functionality inside the, the model itself, which is really great and it opens so many possibilities. Um, and then recently OpenAI uh, released fine tuning for GPT uh, 3.5 and for, for the chat models. So a lot of new stuff has been happening and uh, I thought, okay, this is, this is the moment I'm going to pick up again. I'm going to, to start or, or rather restart this project. So if you remember, my whole purpose with Armin was to create kind of a personal assistant that was always on, always helpful. And for me that the medium, the channel for that would have to be something in your phone because it's with you the whole day, uh, an instant messaging app because that's how you interact like if you are talking to a person. And, and I chose Telegram to do that. I never got to do that in Armin. It was supposed to be the next step. Uh, so I was testing everything in that um, web interface as you remember. This time I thought, no, let's forget about the web interface. I was also wasting a lot of time with that. Uh, so I restarted Armin um, and I got a whole new project and I'm calling that project the Faulty Bot or Faulty for short, which for some of you who might uh, pick up the reference, this is of course um, a name inspired by the wonderful character played by John Cleese called Basil Fawlty from the Fawlty Towers which was a TV show in the 70s so it kind of I kind of picked up the you know the the butler servant um, thing for this personal assistant and yeah so that's how the name came about to be so we have so far a working telegram bot because this time I thought okay no more messing up with the uh, admin panels and background options and blah 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 let's just go through the thing that I actually want to do so I started working on getting the telegram bot to work and it's working so after a few days and a couple of hours put into this we've got the basics so let me show you I'm here with a faulty bot and I'm going to start this, uh, from scratch so when I start, I immediately get a, a message to say to get started, please complete your registration by clicking here. Now this will go uh, for to a web page, which right now is still on my local computer. This is not live yet. Um, 
we have here just a very basic stuff this page is obviously not polished at all uh, and this information is just for it, for the bot to pick up a few important details about you and there are stuff still missing here like a little bit of um, about yourself, about your preferences kind of like now you've got the custom instructions in chat GPT so let me just put them something quickly and the faulty mode is a let's call it an easter egg I'll leave it on for now so I'm going to submit this is going to activate my user there you go and now we are able to use the faulty bot well didn't we just start moments ago no no matter always prepare for another grand kickoff how may I assist you today okay so now we have a working um, bot which is pretty much an, a different interface for chat GPT but with a few uh, interesting things so for example I can ask him um, please remind me to turn off my kettle in two minutes uh, look is typing so you get these hints about what's happening on the other side uh, which of course here is not really typing it's more like is calling the open AI API uh, right now I have a reminder for you to turn off your kettle at 529 gosh modern convenience isn't it just don't forget it fingers crossed well thank you and yeah so we've we've got the basics uh, you're welcome Nuno if you don't if you need more help or more kettle based reminders don't hesitate to ask yeah so this is this kind of remarks are the faulty mode which is a kind of easter egg if I disable it you get more like a bland personality so here you've got a little bit more of humor and um, some sarcastic remarks from faulty um, so let's go back here so what do we have uh, so I pick up a lot of things from Armin. Uh, we have the chat context, a short chat context, uh, not as big as you get in ChatGPT because tokens are very expensive. Um, because we don't have a long chat context, I have a chat topic, no summarization yet. That was something I was uh, doing in Armin and I haven't done it yet, but we have at least a topic so it knows what is the current conversation about, even if it's beyond the current context we have the one of the most important things that I have in Armin the memories so storing and retrieving memories via embeddings so it memorizes important facts and details and all kinds of stuff and um, we have an, a new thing is reminders so like the kettle thing that I just added uh, that's a new functionality it's it's they are native reminders they don't rely on memories and I thought it would be useful to have because it's something everybody uses, you know, quick reminders. Uh, so for now, it is supposed to remind me of my. Um, let me just check. It didn't. Oh, yeah, he did. Remember, Nunu, it's tea time. Well, I mean, time to turn off your kettle. Don't want to mix metaphors or burn down the kitchen. Haha, <laughs> nice. Thank you. Always here for a bit of kettle related banter. Remember to make a good cup of tea. Yeah, so that's faulty for you. And yeah, so that's what we have so far. So, what are the limitations that I'm facing right now? So, I really wanted to get this to work with GPT 3.5 Turbo because it's so fast and it's so cheap that it will be amazing. But no matter how hard I tried, it was really difficult to get it to work because after you experience GPT-4 you realize how dumb GPT-3 is uh, 3.5 3 sorry and by dumb I mean it has a lot of challenges in following instructions and understanding all the instructions and GPT-4 is like 99% of the time it gets it it gets it so I had to use GPT-4 I tried so many things but it, it's not possible so I'm relying heavily on functions, function calling from GPT, and that this these two things create a problem for me because one of the 
in interesting things about Armin was the fine-tuned models. So I was, if you remember, I was tweaking the responses from the bot to match a specific tone that I would like and teach the bot how to pay attention to some things or how to react to others and then you get the fine-tuned model which was amazing. Um, if I do that here, there's two problems. One, GPT-4 fine-tuning is not yet available and GPT-3.5 fine-tuning is available but you would disable function calling at least for now and they they will change this in the future but for now there's no possibility in fine-tuning the model and get uh, function calling so there's no options here I have to stick with GPT-4 and then that creates another problem which is the cost now GPT-4 is really expensive and with function calling it gets more expensive because in order to pass the function information we have to send a lot of text and that text counts for the tokens so an interaction uh, with a few messages back and forth gets expensive really fast. So this creates a problem for me because my purpose with this, with this new project and with the Telegram bot was to get it out and get people to use it and test it and give me feedback. And I plan to release new features um, quite fast. Fast. Um, and I really want people to try it out and give me feedback. But if I do that with GPT-4 means I'm going bankrupt. So the other possibility is to use a kind of a bring your own key solution, which of course is very limiting because not everyone has an open AI uh, API key. So that will strictly limit the number of people who can use this. And many people who I would like to use this, they don't have an API key. They're they not developers or even tech oriented people. So it's a bit of a problem for now. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how it would go, and maybe both, maybe I'll enable people to have, to bring their own API key and not to, and maybe the not to will have some limitations, or I need to pre-approve the accounts, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, the purpose of this video was just to introduce you to Faulty. And uh, let you know that the project is alive. It is continuing uh, in a different way, in a different name, but it's there. Oh, we're on the telly. Good evening, YouTube. This is faulty or charming, yet slightly mishap prone Telegram bot reporting for duty. Don't mind the noise, the kettle just exploded. Yeah, actually, I forgot to turn off the kettle. <laughs> good one, faulty, good one. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope to keep you posted with. Um, more frequently. Uh, let me know what you think, let me know if you have any suggestions of uh, what you'd like to see. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll speak soon again. Thanks.